my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a full face using only a wet and wild makeup. So here in Australia, I find it so hard to get wet and wild makeup. The only place that I can get it is online. So that's what I've done today. I've gone online and I've got every single step, which I'm super excited about because some of these products look so amazing. So this is for you guys that can get wet and wild really easily because this brand is super, super affordable. And what the hell, everything's literally under $10. Like, what do you mean? How does that happen? I just did my eyebrows off camera because I honestly cannot stand watching other people do their eyebrows over and over. I found it so boring. So let's move on to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow collection and this is in the shade Drinking a Glass of Shine. And the first color that I'm going to take is this color right here, which looks like a perfect transition shade. So I'm just gonna take this on my blending brush and you know what to do pop this in here oh my god that is really pigmented and it's blending like actual butter this is literally blending out better than a palette that I used the other day which is the high end so I'm really impressed with this the next color that I'm taking is this really nice chocolate deep brown color and I'm just gonna swap brushes this one is a little bit more pointed so this is going in my crease under that last color. And of course, going in with that lighter shade, I'm just gonna blend it around the edges to make sure it's seamless because it does look a little bit messy at the moment. Next up, I'm gonna go in with this really nice purple color and I'm just gonna pack this on my inner and outer half of my eyelid. Add a bit of color in there. I'm just using a flat shade brush. This one's by Zoeva. Holy crap. This color is showing up so beautifully. I'm using a smaller brush to pack the color on the inner corner so it can be nice and precise. And then I'm gonna take another eyeshadow palette. This one is called the Studio Eyeshadow Palette. And this one has really nice gold shades in it. So I'm going to pick up this gold right here and I'm gonna pack that on the middle of my eyelid. I'm gonna overlap this with the purple. Now for mascara, oh shit. I'm gonna go in with the Max Volume. Oh no, it's waterproof. I freaking hate waterproof mascaras, but it's all I've got from Wet n Wild, so let's go in. The brush actually looks really good. Just making sure it's not off. It's really getting into every single lash, which is good. Making them nice and black. Oh my god, I actually really like this mascara. Yes, honey. Okay, so I'm just gonna go put some lashes on and I'll be right back because I don't know if Wet n Wild sells lashes. Let's move on to the primer. So I'm gonna go in with this Photo Focus Face Primer and I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna work it in my skin with a brush because I have like shit all over my fingers right now. It feels really moisturizing and thin, which is a good start for me. Ah, that's really nice. For the foundation, I'm taking the Photo Fonda Tint Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. This color looks really nice. Fuck yeah. Oh my God, and it has no SPF in it, which is amazing. And I didn't know that Wet n Wild was cruelty free, so that is incredible. Oh, it has a spatula. I love, love that. Thanks so much. Oh, it's really runny. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend it out. Oh, wow. It has really, really nice medium coverage. I have put a lot on as well, so I'm hoping it builds up really nicely. Oh my God, this foundation looks so good and it feels really light on my skin. I just love the finish of it. It's not, um, it's not completely matte, but it definitely is more on the matte side. The only other product that I don't have from Wet n Wild is concealer. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead, do my concealer, and then I'll be back. I will order some online so I can use them in my video soon. So I'm really sorry about that. I literally forgot about it. I don't know how. Now it's time for the powder. So I'm taking this Coverall Press Powder in the shade at medium tan. As I said at the start of the video, I bought everything online, so I'm really happy that everything's matching really well. Oh, wow, it's very, very powdery. Let's go in and dab this on the face. Yay, it's not making my face patchy. Let's sit under my eyes. It almost feels like I don't even need to set my face because the foundation literally dried, like, kind of matte. 
but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Okay, let's move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this dark brown from outer corner to inner corner on a little tiny pencil brush. I've never done this with lashes on before, so it's like I've got like big birds sitting up there. I definitely have to get heaps more palettes so I can use Wet and Wild in my videos more. Can't forget those lower lashes because under here is super dark. So I wanna make some spider legs. Oh my God, my face is seriously gonna be so shimmery after this because my bronzes and everything are like full of shimmer. So the first one I'm going in with is um, two Reflect Shimmer Palette in the shade Rose Golden Goddess. And if you guys seen my Snapchat, you would know what happened when I ordered this. I literally accidentally ordered 24 of these. I was like, why is the box so big? I didn't think I ordered that much. But yeah, I did. It has a really nice glow to it, but I would have to say it's probably a little bit too light for me. I like really dark bronzes. Oh wait, definitely does build up. <laughs> Look at that, shoot. I'm also gonna take this around my forehead to warm everything up a bit. I'm just gonna take the edge of my powder brush and take that pressed powder just to clean up this line right here. Because you guys know me, I always get so carried away. For the blush, I'm taking this one, which is ombre. Oh my God, how freaking pretty is that? So this one is in the shade, whoa, the Princess de Quarries. So I'm just gonna pat my brush mainly on the darker side and I'm just gonna put this on the apples on my cheeks. Oh my God, this has little shimmers in it as well. My face is gonna be glowing on another level. It's so weird because in some lights the bronzer doesn't look very intense, but then I moved my head and it goes like orange. It's like an illusion. So I have two highlighters from... <laughs> Dang, girl. Oh my God, I'm surprised that didn't break. So this one right here and this one, which has four different colors in it. But to be honest, this one looks amazing. So that's what I'm gonna use today. This one's in the shade Precious Pearls and it looks like a beautiful goldy champagne color. And I just really want to swatch it to see what it feels like. <gasps> it literally feels like butter. I really wish I would sell more Wet n Wild products in Australia. This is so unfair. Okay, so let's do this. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I did not expect this on my nose. I'm gonna put a little bit of this highlighter right on my inner corner to brighten that area up. Oh wow, I can't get over it. For the lips, I have two different colors here. We have a pink and a brown nude. So I'm gonna take the brown nude and um, see how this goes, just because the pink isn't gonna match the purple on my eyelid. So let's see. This one's in the shade Nudie Patootie. That's so cute. Oh my God, I'm so scared this is gonna be too light for me. Oh, it's so gray. I really like the formula of this liquid lipstick, but as you guys could tell, I look dead. So I'm gonna take a lip liner. This one is in the shade 712. And I'm just gonna like basically use this as a lipstick, like put it all over my lips. Oh my God, that's so pigmented. Ah. I really like the color of this lip liner. Look, really nice warm nude color. And last but not least, I'm taking a setting spray. Well, I think that's what it is. It says Photo Focus Vaporizer Defixation. Setting spray on the other side, okay. Whew, wow, that sprays out a lot. At least I didn't leave little white specks on my face. Okay, I need to go fix this whole thing so I can look cute for you guys. All right, guys, here we have the finished makeup look. I had to take my stripey shirt off because it wasn't matching the vibe, but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm overall so incredibly impressed with like pretty much every single product I used. Is there anything I didn't like? Nope, I like everything. So I just need to get a contour shade and a concealer and lashes if they have any, but I hope this video was interesting for you guys considering how cheap and affordable freaking Wet n Wild is, are you kidding me? So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.